Welcome to Cats Spooky Chats. For the month of October, we will be chatting about spooky, scary, bone chilling, and horrific stories. We're going to start off with the origin of Halloween and many more. Many people celebrate Halloween. They dress up, have parties, pass out candy, and so much more with no clue as to where the tradition originated from or what each thing symbolizes. So today, we're going to chat about the ancient origins and the roots of it all. And with that being said, let's chat. Chapter 1, The Origin of Halloween All Hallows Eve all Hallowmas, all Hallowmees, or all other names for the famous tradition we know as Halloween. The origins of Halloween date all the way back to the Celts and the ancient Celtic festival of Samhain. The Celts were a collection of tribes whose culture started to evolve as early as 1200 B.C., now, the tribe spread through Britain, Ireland, France, and Spain. The ancient Celtic festival of Samhain is a pagan religious festival which originated from an ancient Celtic spiritual tradition. The Celts celebrated their new year on November the 1st, All Saints Day. All Saints Day was a time where the people honored the saints. The honoring of the saints was designated by Pope Gregory III in the 8th century. And the night before All Saints Day, October the 31st, the Celts celebrated Samhain. Now they celebrated Samhain on this day because this day marked the end of the summer and the harvest, which was also the beginning of the dark, cold winter. Now, this was the time of year associated with death, and it was believed that this was also when ghosts of the dead returned to the earth. Now, the Celts believed at the time of sowing or summer's end, the dead could return and walk where they had before because the veil between the worlds of the living and deceased were the thinnest at this time. Now, it was also believed that those who passed the previous year and hadn't moved on, they could interact with the living at this time, and they could also finally move on. Now, this is all speculation, because it is believed that very little is actually known about the ancient rituals of Samhain. Now, it is said that this is common with many other pagan holidays or festivals as well. Many even say that the church Christianized the pagan holidays or festivals. Now, I want to note real quick for those who don't know, the term pagan refers to a person holding religious beliefs other than those of the main world's religions. And several pagan holidays are still celebrated to this day, other than Halloween, of course. Now, those holidays include Labor Day, Epiphany of Three Kings Day, St. John's Eve, Easter, New Year's Day, and Christmas. Now, I just wanted to drop those little interesting facts, but back to the story. Now, as I said earlier, it is believed that little is actually known about the rituals of ancient Samhain. But what is known is said to have come from Irish monks who recorded the pre-Christian history of their people. Now, during Samhain, the Celts would stock up on supplies for winter. They would slaughter cattle and dispose of their bones in bonfires. Now, we know them as bonfires today, but they were originally known as bonefires. 
Now, the people, they also wore costumes to ward off ghosts. And they did this all while they drank and feasted. Now, during Samhain, it was also believed that deceased loved ones would come back and to welcome them, the people, they would set out their loved ones' favorite foods. Now, it seemed to be a wonderful time. Everyone was having a good time and feasting. And the deceased loved ones were visiting during Samhain. But remember, this was also known as the time the veil between the worlds was believed to be the thinnest. So all spirits got the opportunity to cross over, not just deceased loved ones. Now during Samhain, good and evil spirits were seen. It's even said that the spirits of beings that were never human appeared during Solomon. Dark energies, elves, fairies, and many other spirits were said to visit the living. It's said that there was no telling who would show up to the party. And it's also said that spirits of those who people wronged appeared during Solomon as well. Now, with all other worldly visitors popping up to the party, the people became worried and scared. So they began to darken their faces with ash from the bonfires. And this practice became later known as guising. Now, guising evolved to wearing masks, as we do today. Now, the people, they wore a mask of ash to remain safe from the dark forces who visited during Samhain. But they would reveal themselves when they saw the spirit of a loved one. Let's get into some of the symbolism when it comes to Halloween. Or shall I say, All Hallows Eve. Black and orange. Now, as we know, black and orange is a quite common color combination when it comes to Halloween or All Hallows Eve. Now, these colors, they also trace back to the Celts and the Festival of Samhain. Orange represents the autumn harvest and black represents death. Bonfires known previously as bone fires because they were used to burn bone. Now, they weren't just said for burning bones. They were said to also be a light that lit the way to the afterlife for wandering souls. And in today's time, lighting candles during Samhain are said to symbolize this as well. Carving jack-o'-lanterns. Or pumpkins. This began as carving turnips. The tradition is said to have originated from an old Irish legend. Now in the legend, a man named Stingy Jack repeatedly trapped the devil. And he let him go only on the condition that he, Stingy Jack, would never go to hell. Now Jack and the devil... Had a deal, but when Jack died, heaven did not want Jack's soul. Jack was forced to wander earth as a ghost for all eternity. The devil visited Jack, and he gave him a burning lump of coal in a carved out turnip to light his way as he wandered the earth for all eternity. The locals, they picked up the tradition of carving scary faces in turnips, which eventually evolved to carving scary faces in pumpkins. They believed that this would scare off evil spirits. Trick-or-treating. Trick-or-treating's origin is highly debated, and there are several theories. Now, the first theory... It states that the cells, they left food out to appease the spirits. 
And the second theory, it is said to have come from Scottish practice of guising. During the Middle Ages, children and poor adults collected food and money from local homes in return for prayers for the dead on All Saints Day. And the third theory is that trick-or-treating in America, it originated from bell snickling, which is a German-American Christmas tradition. Now, with this tradition, children were said to dress up in costumes and then call on their neighbors to guess their identity. And if no one could identify the children, they were rewarded with food and other treats. Black cats. Now, some people have a fear of black cats or they get spooked when they see them. Now, this feeling of unease, it is said to date all the way back to the Middle Ages. Now, it is said that black cats were considered a symbol of the devil. And to make matters worse, years later, they became associated with witches and were said to assist them with doing dark magic. Poor little pussies. Well, that brings us to the end of today's spooky chat. And there are many more to come. This is just the beginning. So the gore hasn't even begun yet. Please tell me what you think in the comments. Please like the video. Please share the video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. If you would like to support the channel, the information to support will be in the description of the video. And until next time, peace, love, and blessings.